Hi everyone, my name is Erin Cataldi and I am the teen librarian at the Clark Pleasant Branch. This week we're going to show you guys how to make upcycled book crafts and specifically I'm going to show you guys how to make a fun banner. So if you look behind me, I have made a really fun little banner all out of old books and yarn and construction paper. But if you don't have old books lying around, and also I want to specify when I say old books, I mean books that are falling apart. You don't want to like rip up a textbook or a perfectly good book. So like for example, I have this really bad fallen in half copy of the Inferno that also had water damage on the front. And I use this for crafts. What's left of it anyway. Um, so certainly don't trash any good books. Like don't do that. And if you don't have any books that like are falling apart, you can use newspaper or magazines for this craft. So the sky is the limit. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make a template for what you want each of the little pennants to look like. You could do like a triangle. You could do like I have. So what I did was I ripped a page out of my book like so. And then I like trimmed up the edges because you can see it's kind of jagged from being torn out of the book. And then I already have a template here. So what I wanted it to look like is this, which to get it so perfect down here, I had folded in half and then cut. So that's my template for what I want my page to look like. So then once I have my template, I just put it on top, I trace, like you just little trace it, and then you're just going to cut it out with a pair of scissors. And you're going to do this for however long you want your banner um, to be. So mine up behind me is only 10. Um, it's got 10 of the page cutouts, but you can make it a lot longer, you can make it shorter. You can also... Um, put like letters on it like happy birthday or happy father's day or whatever's coming up that you want to um letters on or you can put photos on too if you have one of those cool little cameras that does the instant photos you could put those on the banners and they look really cute all right so i cut my thing or i cut my page and so i've got some like this so i've got a whole bunch now i need to design like what i actually want to have on the um the banners themselves. So the ones behind me, you can see I have little dots, different colored dots on them, nothing crazy. Um, but I figured for this example, I'll just do this the same because it's really easy. I just had some cardboard, you know, just your cardboard <laughs> construction paper, and I cut out some different circles. So here's an example of what I did. Nothing fancy, just spacing out different colored circles on it. Like again, you could use magazine pictures, you could do a letter, um, photos, whatever you have around the house and you want to decorate it with. So once you have, and you can also, I just use um, glue. If you don't have glue, you can use tape. You can get creative. This craft is about using what you have around your house. I don't want you to have to go out and buy anything. So once you have as many of the banners as you want and you have them all decorated the way that you want, so I've got like a whole stack that I've cut out and used, now you need to hole punch the corners. And you're hole punching the corners so you can thread the yarn through them. Now if you don't have a hole punch, you can certainly either use scissors to like puncture a hole, you could use a pencil. Um, I will say though, since we're using paper, you want to make sure you don't put your hole too close to the outside because when you're putting the yarn through, it could rip easily. So for example, I am going to put it like my hole closer to the inside up here. I don't want it out here because it'll rip real easy. So I'm just going to I'm just doing a stack of them at once and I'm going to hole punch all right and you can see I've got my hole punch now so then what you do is and this part's fun is you decide if you want the yarn to be on the front or the outside and what I mean by that is 
So here's my yarn. I found some crazy rainbow yarn that I'm going to use. And my cats are eyeballing the yarn right now as I'm doing this. So if you want the yarn to show on the front of this, you come from behind and then go in the other side like this. So see what I mean? How the yarn is then in front? And then you'll do that for all of them and hang them. That's how I have behind me, I did the yarn in front. But if you don't like how that looks, you're like, oh, it's too much yarn. All you have to do is you go in the front instead of the back and then alley-oop and see how then the yarn is hidden behind it instead of in the front and then you're just going to keep doing that over and over until you have the like the perfect length for what you want um, the triangles also look really cool, different shapes. Um, you could also, like, I mean, the sky's the limit. I just want you to be creative with stuff you have around the house. Newspaper works really good, too. It's the same texture as most book pages. Um, but magazine actually looks really cool because it's glossy and it has usually a lot more color. So, and then you can space them apart however you want, and you just keep going. So that is basically... The main thing that I really wanted to show you guys today is just how to use old falling apart books to turn into something really cool. Um, and I mean, everyone's staying more time in the house, although now it's summer, so people can go outside, but jazz up your room or jazz up like when it's your sibling's birthday or whatever you want to do. Um, if anyone actually does this and like they want to send a picture of how awesome it looks, please do. And thank you again for watching this video. And if you have any other ideas or suggestions, comment below. Thanks so much.